guys. Oh my gosh. First, I'm alive. Second, this is our very last car vlog in Florida. I cannot believe it, but the day has finally arrived for us to move. The craziest part, I mean, really like this whole situation for the past week has been insane. But even just besides the hospitalization and like the monkey wrench that threw into our plans, today is actually the final dance recital for my kids. So you know how I've been teaching dance at the dance studio this whole year? Well, today's their dance recital. They get to, you know, perform the dances we've been working so hard on for their family and friends and stuff. And today, <laughs> is also the day the movers are coming and today's also the day that we're hoping to start driving back to New York because we really like we need to be back I've told you guys this before but we need to be back in New York by Monday morning because of Elsie's doctor appointment because like mother like daughter she too suffers from UTIs and I like, would never ever want you know what it, what happened to me to happen to her so uh, we need to be back in New York and like ideally we want to be back, you know, tomorrow earlier in the day so that we have the afternoon, we can get a good night's sleep before Monday morning versus if we leave tomorrow morning, Sunday morning, we won't get to New York till like, you know, we could get to New York Monday at like 1 a.m. or something, which would really be awful because we have to take her to the vet, you know, a few hours later. So anyway, regard like it things were always going to be crazy. I think the hospitalization just added a whole new level of insanity on to the plate. I'm feeling a lot better. Every single morning I wake up and I feel like a little better, a little bit better, a little bit better. Uh, I'm on antibiotics, so I've been taking that and Yesterday was the first day I went out by myself. The kids had two shows, so they had their first show last night, and they're doing the show again this morning. And so yeah, I was definitely nervous to go out on my own, and just nervous on how like my body would handle it. Nervous because I've been I've been getting like really really bad, like almost migraine type headaches at various points during the day. Now normally in the mornings it's I'm a lot I'm a lot better. Like I feel really good. Like I usually I feel okay. But it's around the out, late afternoon evening times and I I don't I tend to get really bad headaches and not feel very great. And yesterday that's when the recital was and so I was nervous that like oh goodness like what if I get one of those really bad headaches especially with the music and the lights and the kids but I was fine. I was fine. And I feel okay this morning. So, yeah, all good things. I'm going to make a little pit stop before I get to the uh, school. I'm going to get some flowers for the owners of the studio. And, yeah, we're going to see if the movers can come a little bit early today. They're not supposed to come until 1. But Jeff looked at the forecast and supposed to rain around that time <laughs> and it rained yesterday you guys oh my goodness like a monsoon rain like the craziest and I mean we've we know this like we know that Florida gets these crazy rainstorms but my goodness yesterday it was like sheets of rain you couldn't even see like right past your car so if it's raining like that and the movers are here either one we're gonna have to like cancel it in which case I have no idea what we're gonna do or two our stuff is gonna get sopping wet and like I would rather not that be the alternative and I'd rather not choose that option because our stuff is going into a pod and I don't want it to get like mildewy or like you know you just don't want your stuff to get wet because there's a lot of like good stuff in there so anyway I'm hoping that they can come early or it doesn't rain. And yeah, Jeff is, um, Jeff's really hoping to leave this evening, as am I. And if 
feel okay. Like, I feel okay enough to, like, do driving. I don't, I'm really, like, useless in the middle of the night. And I told him that, that, like, I really don't know how much I'm going to get done, like, driving-wise in the middle of the night. But certainly, like, you know, I could drive this afternoon and this evening. And I can definitely drive tomorrow morning. So, we'll see. Guys, if you learn anything from, like, my channel, from, like, me and my experiences, it's, it's just, like, give yourself time to do things. <laughs> you might think you can get it all done in, like, a day, two days, a weekend, but just, like, for your own sanity, give yourself an extra day or two. Like, if you're moving, you know, from one, one state to another don't necessarily make a doctor's appointment for, you know, Monday at 9 a.m. Just don't. Ugh, anyway, I will check back in a bit later, probably after the recital, and I'll let you know how it all goes. And yeah, I can't believe this is the last car vlog too. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I got really comfortable vlogging in general in the car and car vlogging here in Florida. And it's really exciting and crazy to think that like this is the last one in Florida and that all my car vlogs from now on are gonna be in New York. Bah! All right, anyway, I'll check back in on a few guys. Apartment, they're almost done moving all our stuff out and Jeff has been packing the car and it's like a thousand degrees. It's, like that. it's honestly about 89 degrees. With like 100% humidity. Yeah. yeah, so we're almost but it's there. it's okay, as soon as we finish, then we get to sit back and do a nice relaxing 18 hour drive. So relaxing. It's almost like 3.40 and we're still hoping to leave today. Yeah. Oh, we're leaving today. Oh, we're leaving. Oh, we're leaving today. <laughs> and just like that, the whole apartment is packed away. Oh, Elsie's little toy. Elsie loves these little twist ties. Uh, but yeah, it's all empty. It's so crazy. It's bringing back memories from when we first moved in. And Jeff and I sat right there. We bought two little towels from Target. We sat on them on the floor because our stuff hadn't come yet in the first few days. The kitchen still looks like kind of a mess, but we're taking all that stuff with us. Jeff's just popped into the shower for a quick rinse before we head out. And look at our bedroom, it's all empty. Except for my bags here, which I'll stick this into. But yeah, I can't believe it. I can't believe that that's, this is it, that we are all packed up and we are, we're gonna drive away. It's so weird, it's so, so weird. I feel like the year went by so fast, but then so many things happened and it's, I think anytime you move, it's a bizarre sensation and a bizarre time. And I'm gonna miss this little apartment. I think it's a great apartment. It's hard to come by apartments that look like this in New York. And so we'll, we'll definitely miss it, but we're happy to be going home. And it's, what time is it? I can't really tell. I think it's about 4.30. We're still gonna head on out. And we need to make a quick stop in Disney World. Funny enough, Jeff has to drop off a few work things. And so we'll make a quick stop in Disney World and then we will be on the road up to New York. It's so weird. I feel a little sad but that's to be expected. And yeah, I'm gonna have a little snack now because I'm a little hungry. And then I need to pack the fridge. That's what my job is, I have to pack the fridge. Here's our packed pod. Oh, she's a beauty. She's bigger than our first New York City apartment. Oh my God, I'm like so scared to see what it looks like when we open it in New York. I'm scared it's gonna be such a mess. But that's the goal, yeah. is that they packed it really flat and like kept yeah. everything down so nothing's gonna move. Yeah. Well, here's to hoping. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alright, time to say goodbye to our apartment. Bye bye now. Bye apartment. Thank you for everything. It's very close on my face. Oh ho. Alright, here we go. We're leaving. Back to New York. Peace out, Florida. Peace out. Okay, let's go. We're officially driving away. Look oh at this car. <laughs> There's like toilet paper rolls everywhere, <laughs> paper towels. It's a pretty 
well, you far. gotta take every last piece of that's right everything i was gonna throw anything out we are actually like i said we're stopping off at hoop to do first just so jeff can drop off a few things mm -hmm. we'll catch the show eat some ribs. Well, yeah and then we'll be on the road to disney world <laughs> Traveling through some of the back roads. Whoa. Whoa, the cast member only roads at Wilderness Lodge. How beautiful does it look? That's nice. We're about to go toward the back of Hoopty Doo at Fort Wilderness. But we're using the back way. So I decided to get out because I'm going to try to use the restroom. But look at the horses. So cool, right? So we're heading to Hoopty Doo. I mean, who else's road trip back home includes making a stop at Hoop Dee Doo? No one. I'm gonna use the restroom. Jeff's gonna talk to his boss, and then we'll be on the road. Here we go. Bye, Disney World. See you real soon. Bye. And we're officially on the road. She's cuddling with Daddy. I don't think I've ever seen her cuddle with you. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. Oh, it's so nice. We're home. Hands in the air. Look at my hair, crazy. Anyway, we got home around one o'clock. So exhausted. We took a nap. I slept till five. Mm -hmm. um, we unpacked the car with the help of my fam. And yeah, the rest of the night we're just gonna chill. I'm getting up early tomorrow because I'll see the doctor's appointment. Tomorrow's a really exciting day because we're going to pick up our new puppy tomorrow night. Crazy. But yeah, now it's just adjusting back to life up here and just so weird and here, I'll show you all the suitcases. Look at all of the stuff in our room. And this is just the stuff that was in the car. This is not even like anything that's in the uh, pod. So yeah, we have a busy couple of months coming up <laughs> in terms of organizing and cleaning. But anyway, I'm gonna go now. And thanks for coming along with us on our very, very last road trip from Florida to New York for a long time, if ever done. Um, that's it. Okay, love you guys. Bye!